Hey guys, this is Will. And this is Ollie. And we're gonna go ahead and do a review on Glow, the Netflix show. The gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Mm -hmm. Um, so why we chose this show? Um, I saw a trailer, uh, was it? and it, it looks pretty interesting. I was like, hey, I haven't seen anything quite like this before. Um, so I got my attention, and uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, we had just finished watching Orange is the New Black. Oh, yeah, it's the same right? producer? Yeah, same yeah. Same producer, something and like that. that's the only reason or, or why producer. we were like, you know, when you finish watching the show, you get all sad, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Uh, we had to find something to fill the void. Pretty guess, much, yeah. yeah, and we saw that Intimate. there was the same producers. Um, I thought it was a little weird when he showed me the, the trailer. <laughs> yeah, because like we usually do that, like sending each other trailers and stuff. I'm like, hey, you should watch yeah. this. Uh, and, uh, yeah. She wasn't quite sold on it, but um, yeah, I was like, we should watch it. Yeah, I guess the only <laughs> thing that, that was like, okay, I'll give it a chance was a lot of our friends were starting to watch it. Um, and then I saw Judy from Mad Men. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Judy knew actually, though. I, it was interesting seeing her in a different, um, a different character. Because obviously Mad Men, she was, um, you know, just a yeah, housewife, like, rich. Yeah. Housewife, rich. Yeah. Really reserved, just like. Yeah. And then this time it was like, she yeah. was just. just beating down girls. <laughs> trying to get out. by. You know, <laughs> yeah. Um, doesn't Struggling. even have enough money for food and whatnot. So. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> just jacked. Um, <laughs> So, I don't know, once we started watching it... Yeah, uh, so once it, uh, like, got rolling, it was actually... It actually got pretty good. Because, like, first, like, maybe in the middle of the first episode, you're going to be like, uh, I don't know about this. But then yeah. as it starts going, it's, like, it gets better. It picks up, like, a momentum. Yeah, I, th I think the first night we fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I was like, oh, that's nice. Honest, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's nice to but... <laughs> Yeah. But I, I think I got a little more interested, like, as the character started developing, like, to seeing what... Yeah. See what the next yeah you just want to know like yeah, yeah um, next character uh, yeah so that's why we chose it um it was an overall pretty interesting uh -huh. um and as you guys know it's pretty much ladies well some of these ladies are actresses some of them just need jobs yep. some of them are actually into wrestling and they're just looking for a job pretty much yeah exactly and the cool thing is like it's it's based off your story so. yeah yeah it's, um <clears throat> yeah. an actual 80 show that was aired mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah so they did the same um girls actually had to learn to wrestle some of them didn't even have experience actually most of them didn't have experience yeah they, some of them didn't know what the fuck they were doing <laughs> but, yeah but they were just like i need a job and so, it was yeah. late 80s and i think they got canceled early 90s um yeah. and so now they just thought about remaking it. I guess it's mm -hmm. loosely based on it. Not everything is real. Yeah, it's probably not like super specific, yeah. but it's like it is based on like, you yeah. know, something like so there's some real stuff that happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put that way. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what. Um, so I mean, yeah. first of all, I'm not really into wrestling. Yeah, when, when around, yeah. around our time in the 90s, it was a big thing, I guess. Like, oh yeah, like yeah. what WWE or, yeah. or whatever it so is. So I, I mean, I know of so it, but yeah, it was. Yeah, it was like not really for me. like my um, thing, I guess. For me, it was more of the characters really that yeah. kept me wa wanting to watch it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, and plus, the trailer was pretty interesting. Yeah, remember yeah the trailer I... really like pitched like this cool like new thing. So I was yeah. like, you know what? I'll give this shit a if chance. Have you guys seen it? Yeah, when she's um, when watch the trailer first. Yeah, when and then watch the show. Then you tell me. It was like not, auditioning really for older. the role, and she thinks she accidentally reads the guy's part. Or yeah, something. I really liked that. I was like, yeah. wow, this is different. There was like a sarcastic kind of thing, which is what the show is. If you guys are like, yeah, it's pretty, pretty sarcastic. Like, Trudy's character is really cool. Like, okay, her name's not Trudy in the yeah, the but we're gonna refer to her yeah, as Trudy, yeah, and it's it? Ruth in the show. Yeah, Ruth in the show, but Trudy in Mad Men. Yeah, so, so, like, yeah. Um, um, she's really weird. Yeah, she's so awkward. It's like painful to watch, but uh -huh. like you still want to watch it. And it's like you know when it's back. Yeah, it's those type of, of movies when you're like. Yeah. You, you just feel, feel bad for them. yeah, you feel yeah. embarrassed for them. You kind of feel like, oh, I wouldn't do that. It's so embarrassing. What are you doing? Stop! <laughs> so like you want to stop her, but you keep watching. watching. Yeah, yeah, it's that. yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, she's that throughout the whole show. Mm -hmm. um, so it's pretty funny. A whole show of just that. Yeah. Same that. yeah. Um, all the characters are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Very stereotypical. Yeah. Everything's very pretty much just based off of stereotypes. Just think of it like that. Yeah, cool stereotypes. You're gonna love it. 
So yeah, if you're cool offended. with yeah, um, you know, sarcastic. Do not get easily How sarcastic offended. it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and and the fact that they were, um, you know, they 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 touch on those stereotypes and they oh, make okay. fun of them, mm -hmm. and it's like it's in a light way. Yeah, it's like at the the line, the borderline of like, oh yeah, it's really offensive to where it's like, uh, I can kind of see that. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit funny. It's definitely like it flirts with that line. Yeah, yeah. and if you're okay with that, then you're gonna, then love you're gonna like it. Um, if you're not okay with that, and you get gonna easily offended. Yeah, you're gonna get offended pretty much. <laughs> yeah, just um, to get offended. <laughs> because the characters, what is it? The main character was Ruth, mm -hmm. who's supposed to be Russia or is. Oh yeah, she's yeah, uh, so Zoya the Destroyer. Zoya the Destroyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then obviously, communism. Yeah, we need the um, American Bell. What is it? No, America. Liberty Bell. America. Liberty Bell mm -hmm. representing you know yeah. us and typical. Just to create conflict, but then there's other ones that like are really out there. Um, what is it like? Junk chain. Junk chain. It's like uh, black welfare chick. queen. <laughs> also a black chick. Uh, there's I a, thought uh, that was so clever. Like yeah. it's it's so <laughs> fucked up. But welfare, anyway. welfare queen is like one of the best ones. Like, <laughs> But she's Trust awesome me. at her role. Not yeah, like yeah. that she should she be awesome. the welfare. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. You can totally tell she gets, I mean, it even shows, so you know it's real. Like, she gets offended that, yeah. like, hey, why do I have to be this person? But she just plays the part so well. Yeah, like, like oh, these well, girls, well. I think that's what's cool is that these girls obviously aren't stupid. Mm -hmm. They know what yeah. they, they know, and, and they call it out, and they're like, what the hell are we doing? Why do we have to be that's, these people? That, that's a good point. It'd be a totally different show if, like, let's say mm -hmm. that they didn't know what they're doing, and they're just like, oh, yeah, yeah. they're just playing these parts, you know? And they're just kind of like, you know, mindlessly doing it. But like, they know what they're doing. It's like, oh, this is, stupid. you know, I can't believe we're doing this. Yeah, so it's like their I struggle, mean, but they gotta make money. Pretty much they have I to survive, that. so I they have the to hustle. do it. And they kind of like learn not to embrace it, but they know so, how to portray it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, I think that's pretty you much. You wanna eat? That's the thing. <laughs> you know, that, that we are aware of these stereotypes and we know. I think that's. It's yeah. not a bad thing, you know? Yeah, it, it definitely brings more awareness to it. Like, and not that we didn't know about it, but it's just mm -hmm. more in your face. Yeah. Like, yes. Yeah. And it's crazy that you, you know that you know them, and it's like, oh. Yeah, it's like, well, we've all seen one of those. Funny. You know, but it's um, like, yeah. And so, yeah, they're, ra they're racist. They're stereotypical, but at least they're racist in all. Yes. <laughs> just so you know what you're getting yourself. Yeah, into. like, mm -hmm. would they even have a fortune cookie? Yeah. I mean, just the name. Their stage names are like Asian messed up, shape, but yeah. <laughs> about, about um, that one. What was the other Sorry. one? Uh, Ruth. Beirut. Beirut is the bomber. He's the bomber, the and, bomber and he Beirut. like he really want her to or carry a gun. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I know. I feel bad for her. The so, audition tapes. You're gonna watch each character's like audition tape. Yeah. And that is the funniest shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess just to the fortune cookie. It's legit. <laughs> It's legit. <laughs> the story, I mean, itself is pretty different. Um, mm -hmm. Not your typical yeah, science, story. Science, science, yeah. <laughs> and the fact that it was kind of true. And that's why I liked, I liked it. Well, yeah. Because it was different. It keeps you, know? you interested. Like, where is this going to go? How yeah. far are they going to take it? Ooh, is this yeah. even going to be successful? I mm -hmm. mean, it was actually. Will it be life. canceled? Like the old one. Yeah. That's what that's, yeah, that's <laughs> I'm doing. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, I mean, like, overall. Um, I liked it. You liked it? I liked like, it. When I watch it again, rewatch it like the first series, no. But if it came out of season two and I had I didn't really have anything to do, I would probably watch it. Not yeah, I mean I probably. think all the characters were pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, because we're fans of Judy, which is Ruth. Um I'm not a big fan of Amer uh Liberty Bell. Uh she uh, was too picky yeah, and I'm all fan. that. I, I understand, I understand why. I mean it was fucked up that what her friend did, her best friend did. Oh yeah, that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um Home but water. you'll see what I'm about. Much. Yeah, um, but I, I, I'm still a true fan of Judy. Um, and she hooks up with Harry from Mad Men. I know, what a coincidence. It's like some kind of. Um, there's another character, oh, yeah, because yeah, you guys don't know. There's another character <laughs> from in Mad this Men that was in Mad Men, who's yeah. also in this show, who was like a totally different character in Mad Men, and then they hook up. In yeah. This, in this show. Yeah, yeah. She, she hooks up with him. And <clears throat> So if you ever watched Mad Men and thought to yourself, hey, what if they hooked up? Yeah, so when that Boom. happened, we were like, yeah. what the? <laughs> An erotic imagining is what it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but overall, I think it was it was a decent show. I mean, it kept me interested. All right. Rating time. Um, what do you rate it out of 10? I give it 
a solid six. <laughs> a six, really? Boom. Out six. of ten? Yeah, because I mean, like, uh, it's one of the shows where I'll watch season two if it comes out, but I'm not in a rush to watch it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I won't rewatch season one, but <laughs> I will definitely keep an eye out for season two. Yeah. If I don't have shit to do, I'll get to you. Okay. Out of 10, okay, out of 10, I think I would give it a 4.7. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say a 5, Ouch. but I'm not saying 5, so it's 4.7. <laughs> it's usually a lot more harsher, a lot more harsh on the, um, on the grading scale yeah. than I am. But I, I mean, if you want to round it, I guess totally it's makes, a 5. It makes sense, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um... Not, yeah. yeah, I'm not in a rush to watch. I'll watch season, season two, two But as I will well. get to it eventually. Yeah. If it comes out. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Unless it gets, can gets canceled like the other one, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, let us know what you guys think. Mm -hmm. um, if you have uh, anything that you guys want us to review or watch, um, Netflix preferably, we will definitely watch it. Yeah, and movies, we can check shows, that out for documentaries. You. We'll probably. watch anything. <laughs> Literally almost anything. <laughs> On there. Yeah, yeah, and then we'll do a review for you. So talk about it. <laughs> yeah. So what we have to say. Um, and subscribe to our channel if you like yes. us. <laughs> Hopefully. <Good>. Subscribe. <laughs> um, so once again, this is Will. And Zoli. And we'll catch you guys next time.